Better man of right. Young boy! told you I'd pick you up in the airport. Oh, cab ride must have cost you a fortune. Uh, the poor fellow has to walk a terrible tightrope every single day. I feel obliged to get him drunk once in a while. Rayhando! Honestly, this damn chip. Ronald, what the hell are you doing? Why am I in handcuffs, Harold? You're violating our arrangement. <laughs> There's a running price on my head, Agent Wrestler. What do I think? I think we have a songbird in our midst, and until I find out who's singing, I don't trust anyone. Because I'm asymmetrical. I don't need visas, passports, travel documents. Give me a bug-out bag in 30 seconds, and I'm on my way to anywhere in the world. And seemingly immune to bullets, I can attest to this firsthand, having put one in his head years ago at point-blank range. They'll likely be tortured for weeks and left to rot until they finally deign to put a bullet in my skull. Wouldn't that please you? Donald, you and I aren't done just yet. So I will never let it be said that I valued as any event that drank with Ty over human life, even yours. This is going to be hugely unpleasant and very painful. You know, Anslow, I'm looking at you, and I got to say, I'm really surprised. With the access you now have to top-notch plastic surgeons, why you haven't done something, anything about that horrific scar? I mean, how do you wake up to that staring back at you in the mirror every morning? <laughs> but you know what? It's not the scar. It's really the eye. <laughs> I normally carried Hydroshock hollow points. I was trying out a new series of centerfire wad cutters that week. It's probably the only thing that saved your life, really. Me switching ammo. <laughs> Every time you randomly find your reflection or reminded of that unfortunate thing I've done to your face. <laughs> <laughs> True to form, Anslow. Why take time to think when it's so much easier to shoot? Donald, I'm gonna quietly cross my fingers before I ask, but what blood type are you? <laughs> and you thought we had nothing in common. But there's a good reason why we didn't see what happened to Butch and Sundance. Being riddled by bullets and left to rot under a scorching Bolivian sky does not a sequel make. I'm gonna be around for the sequel. Years ago, I saved a man's life under a beautiful old cedar tree in Lebanon. A month later, I broke his neck with a shower caddy. Is this to be mass suicide by explosion, I hope? Feeling any wittier yet? Any strange cravings for beluga caviar or Marcel Proust? May I ask you something with the hope that you won't take offense? Oh, revenge is too easy and over so quickly. I want that one more time. I want to be in the Piazza del Campo in Siena. Just one time. I want another meal in Paris. Just one time. I want another bottle of wine. And then another. Just one time. I want the warmth of a woman and a cool set of sheets. Just one time. One more night of jazz at the Vanguard. Just one time. I want to stand on summits and smoke Cubans. And just one time. Walk on the wall again. Just one time. Climb the tower. Ride the river. Just one time. Stare at the frescoes. Just one time, I want to sit in the garden and read one more good book. Just one time, I want to sleep like I slept when I was a boy. Just one time. That's why I won't allow that punk out there to get the best of me. Let alone the last of me. There you go again, Anslow. Using a pistol in place of a brain. <laughs> Hardly. I have little to no use for that man. How long do you think you can hold out here before half of Quantico's graduating class repels down on top of you? <laughs>